Hello friends, it's Sena, and I hope everyone is doing well. Today I have another acrylic time lapse for you. It's of these magical mushrooms and I call this piece luminescence and I'm very excited to share this time lapse with you because for this painting I used some affordable paints from the brand Chocola. They contacted me and asked if I would be interested in trying out their new acrylic paint collection. I said course because I love trying out new paints so they sent me their 32 acrylic paint collection to work with and asked for my feedback on them they also gave me a coupon code for my viewers so that code will be at the end of the video So first off, I want to talk a bit about the inspiration for this painting and how I just really needed some art therapy. <laughs> so the whole idea behind this piece was I just wanted something easy and fun to paint. I was in need of some art therapy, like I said, and I just wanted something that was relaxing. And so one of my favorite things to paint that brings me a lot of joy is mushrooms. They are one of my absolute favorite things to paint and draw. So so one of the things that I do whenever I'm trying to get inspiration to create is go to Pinterest. So I love Pinterest because it's so easy to find tons of inspiration on there. I have boards just filled with all kinds of different items. I have things like dresses and accessories, I have nature, I have trees, animals, all kinds of boards. And I just like to go in there and look through when I'm trying to get inspired. So while I was scrolling through Pinterest, just trying to get some ideas, I came across this photograph of these tiny little mushrooms that were on this moss covered branch. and. It just made me want to paint tiny little mushrooms on a moss covered branch. So that's what I did. I was also excited to work on this piece, not just because I got to paint mushrooms, but because I also got to paint moss and bark. And moss and bark is so much fun to paint. Mushrooms, moss, and bark are definitely in my top 10 of things that I love to paint. I was also in a priming mood, so I decided to use a uh, raw birchwood panel that I primed and gessoed myself. I've been priming a lot lately. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's a lot of fun too. So now I want to talk a bit about the paints that I received from Chocola and give you my honest feedback on them. Now I do want to mention that the paint I normally work with is Golden's Heavy Body Acrylics, so while working with these paints I had to make sure that I didn't compare the two to one another because that would be unfair because these paints have vastly different price points. So with that in mind, let's talk about what I liked about these paints. I have to say I was pleasantly surprised by these paints. The blending was pretty good. The colors all blended well into each other. I will say that the pigmentation is a bit on the low side, 
but that is to be expected with the price point of these paints. There's a pretty good selection of colors in this collection, and I didn't really feel any creative restrictions with it. The colors included in the collection are a mix of classic and modern colors, so there's a wide range available for artists to play around with. The collection also came with some metallic colors, but I didn't play around with those with this painting. I did have one issue with the paints, and that was there was a bit of a strong smell when I opened the box. It wasn't terrible, just strong. However, I am very sensitive to smells walking into or even by stores like Lush gives me a headache. <laughs> so it could just be me, but I opened the box and let it air for a day and it was perfectly fine after that. I do want to say that this isn't the first time I've ever encountered a smell from a paint. There's been other paints that have been more expensive that have a little bit of a smell to it. It just depends a lot on the formula that's, be that's being used. For the price point, they are pretty good quality. I think these are great paints for beginner artists and more experienced artists looking for a good deal. I didn't have any major issues with them and I thought that they functioned perfectly well. It's what you would expect from a good affordable acrylic paint. While my paint of choice is typically Golden's heavy body acrylics, they can be a bit pricey and not everybody can afford them or have or has access to them. So I think it's important for me to try out different paints so I can give more alternatives and affordable recommendations. So it looks like we've come to the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope it was fun and relaxing. And if you're a mushroom lover too, then why don't you give this video a thumbs up? As promised, here is my coupon code. It's for 10% off, so you can try out these paints for yourselves. And thank you again to Chocola for providing these paints to me. I also have prints of this piece available on my website, sanafineart.com, if you're interested. If you would like to continue to follow me on this art journey, then make sure you subscribe. And if you like, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!